DEX is Bex in the Flesh, and I'm back with another reaction video. And today, something crazy happened, bro. Diamond Flawless decided to make a video on the King Sid situation. And if you haven't been caught up and you want me to do another video, I've been keeping up with the whole controversy that's been going on, but I never thought it was gonna come to this, bro. It started off with my with Nate's uh it started off with Nate. Then I seen the Miami the Kid video. We had the Call a Kid video. Bro, everybody been talking about King Sid and talking about how he did them wrong. And bro, I'm not going to lie. It's not looking good for King Sid right now. It's not looking good for King Sid at all. Especially now that this video just dropped. I haven't seen this one and I wanted to check it out because whenever they were dating, I was watching King Sid. But after that situation, I decided to, you know, discontinue my membership. I seen a couple of the Smasher passes, but other than that, hey, I just... I don't know. He just ain't been You're on my page. the last person that he's put his hands on. I don't want to do this. I wasn't the last person that he's put his hands on. I don't want to do this. I told him I can't do this no more. And as soon as I said that, he took both of his hands, put it around my neck. He literally what? shoved me up against the wall, like choking me again so hard I could not breathe. Dang, it's getting toxic. It's not starting off well for you. Hey guys, it's your girl Damage Flawless. I miss you guys. I know I get messages all the time that you guys miss me. I miss you too. The feelings are mutual. And some of you guys are OG day are one bad? supporters and have watched me grow from high school through college to now to this day where I'm sitting here. And a lot of things have happened, a lot of things have changed. And you guys have watched me evolve. And I love you guys and miss you guys. And I hope you guys know that. So protecting my peace is my number one priority. So initially, yeah. when everyone has been asking, me to come out with my side of the story of what he's done to me I bro the crazy thing is i when i was watching the miami the kid video he did have some good points like a lot of people were saying that she should come back to youtube but bro that situation was deep bro i could not imagine what she was going through that breakup was real real messy and having it online where everybody could see it it's tough you, nobody should ever have to go through that bro and now i i guess is she back i don't know i'm i'm Interested to see what she got to say. Has been asking me to come out with my side of the story of what he's done to me. I never felt obligated to for the fact that I've already explained my story four years ago when it did happen. It's yeah. happened to more women that he's, he's done it to. And they came out with their sides of the story. And it's sad. It brings sadness to me that there's more victims and he yeah. has not changed from. And that probably hurt as a victim because you probably was like. I separated myself and hopefully I'm the last one because I don't want nobody to feel how I felt, you know? And just to see it continue, which these all allegations so far, I don't know what actually happened, but so many other girls talking about it and not only the girls talking about it, but now guys coming out and saying you just not a good person. So it kind of low key kind of validate the girl's story. So this is getting real, real messy. I don't know if I'm King Sid, I'm, I'm you got to lay low, bro. Four years ago. I wasn't the last person that he's put his hands on. As some of you guys may or may not know, I was a victim of abuse when I was in a relationship with King Sid four years ago. I came out with my story on how he choked me and put his hands on me and was aggressive with me multiple times. Some people believed my story, some people didn't. He came out with his story covering his tracks and making up other things that would basically make me look like I'm just talking to defend myself and making making it yeah yeah I know what she means she like it's always three sides to the story like people say it's one person's side the other person's side and then the truth we never really know what happened we would never in the room when the allegations or whatever happened happened so we can only go based off of the two stories and what makes sense but we wasn't there so we never never know and somebody could easily be a great manipulator especially on the line and, you know, push a narrative. You see it all the time. Make me look like I'm just talking to defend myself and making, making it up. Today, many other girls have came out and spoke on their sides of the story and their dealings and personal experiences they've had with him. And a lot of them are similar to what I have gone through. I've healed from this trauma and... That's good. I've healed from the trauma, the emotional, mental physical spiritual all of the trauma from it for the most I part I, have to come, a lot. I hate that this have to come back up too because it probably kind of like make you kind of remember and you have to go through it especially people asking and 
especially you want to get back into like uh this is probably just so aggravating physical spiritual all of the trauma from it for the most part have healed a lot and um made peace with the situation you know um i've forgiven but i haven't forgotten and it just hurts me to know that other women yeah. had to deal with the same thing i had to deal with that's what i was saying him. and he did not stop or learn yeah he didn't learn his lesson for the better I'm so happy that I was able to come out on Escape. the other end yeah. and be here today. Like, I'm so grateful and thank God that I'm here today, literally. Like, I just, it's its a miracle. It's just, the only way out of it, the only way I'm here today is is God. That's all I can say. Amen. And in a domestic violence relationship, it. there's always a perpetrator and a victim. If the perpetrator lacks a guilty conscience and doesn't, think they've done wrong and in denial, they won't know to, speak help, to seek help for it. Therefore, there's gonna be other victims that they do it to. So it took four years for this to have happened to many other, to multiple other women that he's done it to, for it to come to light. Four years from when I said my story. That's messed now up, there's other girls that come out and say their stories and it's now bring, being brought to the audience, to you guys from what's yeah what has been happening behind closed doors of what he's been doing. Those close to him have witnessed his abuse to others and it's been exposed to the public recently. Not only physically abuse to women, but also emotional abuse and mental abuse to your friends and family. Yeah. So that being said, I strongly and encourage that's you what, to That's what really make this a tough situation is because like, bro, you just don't have a good reputation, bro. Your reputation is going down the gutter, bro. With everybody, like, and that's the... It's like everybody ruled, like, it's like the King Sid, get rid of King Sid Avengers. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not, you've got some serious self-work to do. You know what I'm saying? To seek help so this cycle does not keep repeating itself. Because if you don't seek help, you're only not going to heal, but you're going to keep causing pain to others. And it brings, it breaks my heart to know that there's more victims that have endured and had to go through the same thing that I had to go through. And my heart goes out to them, and I wish I wish a healthy recovery for them. Seriously. Amen. This should be a learning lesson to everyone to not be dismissive of someone's report of abuse and to listen to the victim's side of the story always. Bro, and that's the thing. She didn't say agree with. She said listen and understand and at least take it as like, okay, She they gave this information for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Bro, this is tough because whenever you decide not to like hold somebody accountable and then it resurfaced you can't just let that drown you know what i'm saying because what'll happen is the person goes silent they drop some videos time move on and then next thing you know you forget and a lot of the times that's what people do like they distract you you start looking at other stuff and you get bored and then you forget what happened and next thing you know this man king c just dropping regular smasher passes every other day and nobody care or either you're going to hold them accountable or you just going to, you know, swipe it under the rug. But we can't play both sides. We got to figure this out right here, bro. Report of abuse and to listen to the victim's side of the story always. As a victim, it takes a lot to speak up, mainly because a lot of people don't want to hear your truth. But I'm telling you right now, and I'm standing here right now, healed, healthy, happy, and I've been through it. So if you, if anyone out there is ha, is going through it or has gone through it, I just want to tell you, you can get out. If a man, man loves you, he will not put his hands on you. Facts, bro. Facts. And this go for everybody. If anybody loves you, you go see that in their actions. You know what I'm saying? Nobody would ever put you in harm's way, threaten you, put you in a position where you don't feel comfortable if they didn't really care about you, love you, or, you know what I'm saying? So if you're not feeling it, if you... Like, it's not, it's one thing for somebody to say something, but if you're not feeling that energy, then move around. Because at the end of the day, it's not going to change if they think that it's okay. You know what I'm saying? You can yeah. get out. If a man loves you, he will not put his hands on you. A man that loves you does not, I literally have this one, so oh my gosh. A man that loves yeah. you does not put his hands on you, okay? Point blank, period. You deserve Point better than that, period. okay? Ladies, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> and it can really make a difference whether a victim is believed or not, especially on their mental well-being. 
and emotionally well-being. It takes a lot to even get through the pain of what the abuse you've gone through. So even having this, have this, to have the strength to stand up and speak about it, yeah, it's ten times harder. Facts. And then for people to think like you crazy or to people to not believe you, so ten times harder. <laughs> Although sometimes people do falsely accuse others of abuse, yeah. make sure you guys investigate a situation and listen to a victim. Listen to both sides so you guys know. Because most times, they're not just speaking up and making detailed stories for no reason. Yeah. Always investigate a situation before you guys form an opinion. Trust me guys, we're all human and there's a lot of things that some people can take and others can't. And a man yeah. that puts his hands on you is most likely a narcissist. They're calm, cool, collective, and they feel no remorse. They know what they do, but they don't feel no remorse. And they facts. And the crazy thing is, a lot of the times these types of people they have like an archetype, an energy about them that you can tell. Like you can look them in their eyes and tell based on like how their eyes look at you that they don't feel anything. Like they just kind of there in a shell, you know? They feel no remorse. They know what they do, but they don't feel no remorse. And they, that is why they have to try to feel something, to heal and to change. Yeah. Because if they don't, that is what drives the victims to feel, to go through so much physically, emotionally, and to feel crazy. They almost look crazy. They look unstable because the narcissist is just cool, yeah. calm, collective, and as if nothing ever has ever happened. So being a victim of it and hearing other girls stories, I it's like you, you want to like, you feel crazy because you want to cry out for help and be like, bro, all of y'all are supporting and acting like nothing happened. And y'all didn't see the side of this person, the weird part of this person, the crazy part of this person that I saw, and this don't need to happen to nobody else. So I need y'all to pay attention. Like that's the type of, I know what she mean, bro. So being a victim of it and hearing other girls' stories, I know like it's so hard to deal with. It's just it's so it's a hard thing to deal with. Never dismiss it. As being on the victim side, the survivor side, it is so hard to deal with. I'm telling you, when someone is doing something to you and they just have no care or remorse, they might say sorry, they might throw you yeah. they, they might throw you um an apology with flowers. You they gotta might leave, give you flowers, because that's what had happened to me. After the situation, the day after he brought me flowers, it's like not nothing ever enough. happened. <laughs> you know, like you get sucked back into something that does not even make It doesn't make sense because yeah. they make you feel like. Especially if he wasn't giving you flowers consistently or he never really gets you flowers. And now he got to up his, his apology because he know he did something wrong. That's how you know. That's what really aggravates you. Because they may act like nothing wrong, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you these flowers, I'm going to say sorry, and then we're just going to keep kicking it like we was kicking it before and act like nothing happened, even though I did some crazy stuff. That's where, like, the crazy, the little switch, like, you could tell they did something wrong because they made sure that the apology was a little bit extra. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay, and it's Disgusting. not okay. They think it's okay, and they, may, they try to make you seem like it's okay, and you're just, you're you're crazy. But let me tell you, ladies... Even men too, both sides. No one should be putting their hands on you. No yeah. one should be disrespecting your personal space like that. If someone respects you and loves you, they will not, will not try to harm you in yeah. any shape or form. In any shape or form. Especially physically. Physically, and verbally. And being a female and emotional. a woman, we don't have as much strength as the men, as the man. We don't. And also. Hey, you might want to watch what you're saying. It's 2023. I'm a woman. <laughs> we don't have as much strength as the men. As the man, we don't. And I also want to say, anyone that has been a victim of domestic violence, that telling your story can save and help so many people. Never Thanks. feel like I can't tell my story, or it's just you. Your story might save someone. Save someone out of a relationship. Save someone out of save someone's life. So yeah. sharing is caring, and telling your story is so brave and I commend brave. anyone that has been able to do it as I have. And I also watched Nate and Gio's video where basically Nate was saying that he believed Kingston and Jason because that was his friend and he defended him. But until he witnessed it himself, he didn't then know, he realized yeah. Kingston was wrong all along and lied about putting his hands on me. Yeah, and the thing is, like, 
And somebody who close to somebody like that, if you've never seen that version of them, because the thing about it is you could be a bad person and manipulate somebody into believing that you not like that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never seen you like that. So what would make them believe you would do something like that? So that's just an example of like being biased because, you know, maybe it's someone that you're close to or someone you may look up to, like his audience looked up to him as a YouTuber. So they can't believe that he would ever do something so terrible and put his hands on a woman. Yeah. And so he repeats himself and keeps doing it over and over. And to my ex, Kingsa, Jason, I really wish you well and I hope that you take what I said and my advice of getting help and taking time to change and taking accountability and actions. I hope you take the advice and do something with it, seriously, because so many people look up to you. You're a public yeah. figure. If you just take the accountability and take the time to apologize to That's... all the victims that you emotionally, physically, mentally abused, it can literally inspire so many people. Facts. Because there might be some people in your audience who like that. And they probably like would never speak out and but if you do it they're gonna be like all right that's the right thing to do so let me not be you know what i'm saying yeah you do have a lot of influence bro. physically mentally abused i know you think it's it gonna can tarnish literally your inspire so many people but be a man. everyone can maybe try to see that you know you can change you can do wrong people do wrong and right your wrongs though you know you can do wrong but right your wrongs and try to change try so yeah. anyways ladies remember if a man puts his hand on you he does not love you you may be able to forgive them but do not forget i've forgiven i've made my peace and yeah. kept my distance i have my boundaries with jason but just remember that they do not love you a man does not love you if he puts his hands on you yeah and don't let i don't know what this it's this weird thing that some people believe like if somebody do crazy or stuff to you or for you that that mean that they care more about you and that's not what it is bro if they care about you they go sh like you know what it feel like to be cared about like if your your parents don't sit there and beat you up like to, like you know what i'm saying like it gotta make common sense you know what i'm saying just remember that they do not love you a man does not love you if he puts his hands on you he does not care for you. He does not respect you. If he can, if he can repetitively embarrass you publicly, privately, emotionally, spiritually, yeah. mentally, he does not love you. Abuse is abuse. Whether it's emotional, mental, physical abuse too is hard. And I know there's probably a lot of young girls that watch me too. Never, never settle for less. Because when I tell you that there is men out here that care for you and will Thanks. never I'm one of do those. that to you. <laughs> And that really truly loves you. Trust me, you can do better, and you deserve better. Deserve better. We all deserve better as a female and a woman. We all deserve better. Girls, take time. Take your time. Heal. Yeah, girls. Self love, self worth. When you have your self worth and you know who you are, you will not let anyone try to take that away from you. Thanks. You will stand up for yourself. You will speak for yourself. You will keep your. You will keep your boundaries. And you'll make sure that they respect your boundaries and you move on. And life is, there's Simple. always another side. There's, it always gets better. Trust me, guys. Thanks. It always gets better. Life always gets always. better. Always. And just know that you don't have to stay with someone that does not respect you. You don't. You really don't. In a relationship, if they can't respect you and they if they put their hands on you and aggressive with you, what, like... There's no reason for you to be there. There's no reason for you to be there. And it's just, it's a toxic situation. You don't want to be a part of that. And, and the crazy thing is a lot of people have to learn this, you know, a lot of people have to be putting, which you shouldn't have to, you should know that somebody who respects you care about you. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes people have to learn the hard way. They have to get in that situation where somebody not treating them the best and actually step away. You know, actually walk out the door and do, get better for themselves. And trust me, when you finally like love yourself more than you love any other man, the man is going to love you the way you love yourself. If you don't love yourself and he keeps repeating, repeating these things to you, it's, it's going to get you down. But when you love yourself and you stand for something, you will not fall for anything. And the man is going to take care of you and love you because a real man does not put his hands on a woman. Amen. Little boys do that. Men.
little boys don't even shouldn't even do that. That's the crazy thing. Like as a little boy, you should be taught not to put your hand on girls. Like it's that simple. It should be ingrained into your mind. Little boys do that. Men don't do that. I'm telling you. And there's men out here. I have a platform at the end of the day for me to be able to come as a victim to speak on it and educate others on, you know, how things, uh, on a learning lesson that sometimes victims are not always believed in that. It's okay for you to speak up. You should speak up as a victim, you know, and we're all just learning at the end of the day, but but at the end of the day, just remember, guys, there's always a bright side to the end of the tunnel. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, and you're worth everything, ladies. And I'm talking to my girls, but remember that you have the <laughs> Hey, we hear you. I ain't gonna lie, I'm letting you preach. That's all I, because if a girl watching this, I want her to catch the, the message, catch the lesson, ma'am. Period. We are the prize, like... Okay. Let's remember that. <laughs> Let's remember that, okay? Just like what Harvey says, you are the prize, we are the prize. We are. Just re you have to remember that, okay? Okay, Period. come on. Never settle for less. Never let <laughs> men tell you what you're not. Never let them talk down to you. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. See, she valid on that. We don't tolerate <laughs> that here. Period. I never. I will never wish you back, but I cannot and have. I cannot have you in my space, and I. I have to have some self respect. Yeah. Just think that. Just remember that, guys. Like, if you don't respect yourself, people nobody else will be gonna respect to you. Walk all over you. Sometimes, you know, I'm. I've always kind of been like a nice, friendly person. So sometimes I, I get caught up in certain things. But you, I still, and I, I'm still learning. And that's how you get taken advantage of by convincing yourself that you being nice instead of saying. Instead of setting boundaries, you know what I'm saying? You can't just sit up there and be like, oh, I'm going to just be a good person. I'm going to be a good person. No, bro. You got to stand up for yourself and be like, okay, I'm going to be a great person to people. But if they cross this boundary, now I have to stand on business. You know what I'm saying? Yiddick. Stop playing with them. <laughs> Learning to, the day to respect myself, make sure that I don't have people taking advantage of me and, you know, taking things from me that they don't deserve, you know? Taking things that they don't deserve. And sometimes they might see your value and they might see it, but they, it's not like they'll take care of it and respect your value. Like yeah. they'll kind of take advantage that they know of how much, how valuable you are as a woman and as a person, they might just be like, Oh, she's so valuable. She is the prize. They might, they might say that they, they, they talk a lot. Trust when they, they'll talk a lot and they'll talk, they'll talk about the world. They'll try to say they'll give you the world and all this stuff, whatever. But actions. At the end of the day, if they don't treat you and their actions, don't align with what their words say never take that never take that because someone will show you they yeah. won't just tell you but they'll show you a person that loves you will show you they love you they won't just have to say i love you i love you i love you it's actions facts at the end of the day, it's actions so i feel like i came across all my points that i wanted to come across with this video but um with that being said i miss and love you guys so much thank you guys for Are all you the support that you guys have given me literally like it's crazy how much support that you guys have given me and it does not go unnoticed trust me the messages do not go unnoticed i see them and i i love you guys um not nah, facts y'all we be, we do be seeing the messages as youtubers or anybody on social media you see what people say to you you know whether you acknowledge it or not I will be coming back to YouTube, but I'm on yeah. pace. No, okay. That, uh, <laughs> I'm on pace. <laughs> if there's some things that you do want to specifically want to see from me, and just make sure you guys let me know. And yeah, Thanks. I love you guys. See you guys later. Bye. Bro, great video. I like to see your perspective. I didn't know exactly what she was going to say about this, but she was just, you know, using her platform in order to, you know, talk about her side of the story. How y'all felt about that video? I think it was very well put together. She didn't do too much. She didn't try to bash. She really came on here and tried to be, you know, a great person, bro. And I really did enjoy it. Without further ado, I'm out. Peace and love always. Hope you have an amazing day.